Welcome, all you Blood Bowl fans. Come off as the Champions Cup 14 action, the second round. As we continue the coverage here, in the last bit, we have seen the human team faltering to the ore team. And now we are going to watch some nice key games here. A couple of games left to play, and we're going to see Ducky taking on Mini Crabs, and then Monkey Man taking on Spartaco in the next bit afterwards. And yes, Christopher did falter in the first round there after winning the last two Champions Cup. Gonna be taken down by Pupak, a bit more of a threatening team. And of course, Dime Lord. <laughs> first match was great, went against another tier 3 team, but then guaranteed to meet a Chaos Dwarf. And it's gonna be falling pretty short here, but don't you forget guys, top 4 finishers guaranteed a ticket to the World Cup Playoffs coming up in just a little bit more than a month I, I think around just a little bit past June so about a month and a half and of course not only that but 500 euros for first place 250 euros for second and then a hundred euros a piece for third and fourth place yes indeed all brought to you by Focus Home and Cyanide and of course, yes, let's go ahead and take a look here at the Wood Elf team, taking on this Nurgle team. And this is definitely going to be a difficult match for our man, Ducky. One of the most prolific coaches here on the circuit. One of the biggest winners and most well-renowned guys there. And all around nice guy as well. Pretty fun guy to talk to as well. <laughs> But of course, in my preliminary prediction, I did say that I like Ducky to win. I know I've been I've been going against Ducky all this time, say oh Ducky can't win. But this time I did pick Ducky to win it, and hopefully he will. But it will be against a very dangerous, a very dangerous Nurgle team, Wood Elf team, the interns of Athaloran, coached by Ducky, the Wood Elf team taking on the Nurgle team, coached by Mini Crabs, death, death, death. And I don't know about you, but I've heard that he has taken down quite a many of coaches there. Thanks so much for that follow Blissful Flyer. Blissful Fire. I don't know why I screwed it up there. Had a little tongue twisted there at the end. But thank you so much for that follow. And now we are going to see the coin toss. And we're going to see who will kick it off. It looks like the Wood Elf team is going to kick it off. And we're going to see what the Nuggets team can do. And going to play some defense. Doesn't want to get whittled down. Wants to have his maximum amount of players on defense. And so this is the play. That's kind of why he is, he's going to do the kickoff instead. And that's definitely a good idea if you feel like you're going to get murdered by the other team. Which is a distinct possibility. But before we go too much further, let's take a quick look at the stats. As we are going to see, Dougie will have the wizard for today's match. But let's just take a look here at the skills, as I say. He does have the war dancer. does have the strip ball with the wrestle on him. Catcher here. With the sure hands and that blotch ability. Uh, not the catcher, thrower actually. With that leader ability as well. Thanks so much for that follow. It's luck, Tante. Does have another catcher here with the block and the side stepper for that one. And of course the other war dancer, more tackle with that strip ball. You think he wants to get that ball, guys? I think so. Does have that Raj here for the other line elf. Does have another block skill for the other catcher. Definitely going to have that treat. Does have the block and the grab skill. Does have a few line elves in the front line. Both those guys with the wrestle ability. This one with nothing. And does have the very dangerous catcher. With his nice beautiful uniform that could come in. And score it in one turn. Because he's got plus two in movement allowance. With that sprint ability. And blotch the boot. So that right there my friends. He can make that touchdown all by his lonesome. All he needs to do is have a chance. Just a moment in time. And that's all he needs. And so that's another reason why you see the Woodoff team is going to be kicking off. Not only going to play defense with his full complement, but also at the end of the eighth round. If the Nurgle team, of course, grinds it out and makes a score by the eighth turn, then at least the Woodoff team will have a shot at tying it up one to one and then have the favor to win it by the second half. Nurgle team, though, this is going to be a tough one here, boys. If any, if any a team you were watching out for. The Nurgle team was going to be one of them here. And for good reason. Going to have the Pestigore there with the Raj tackle with the strip ball here. And then, well not Raj, but the Wrestle tackle. And then here does plus one in strength. Blodge 
with the tackle ability there. It's some more tackle here. Pestgore, Mighty Blow piling on with the tackle ability. And the claw, the claw. Did I say the claw yet, guys? The claw, the Mighty Blow, oh, the Kababas, the Kababas. And then the Dirty Player Rotter, and then the plus one in Strength Pestgore. Two heads with that Blodge ability. Sure hands for the main ball carrier. And then more claw, more Mighty Blow. Black with the guard ability for the Nurgle Warrior. And of course, the Beast of the Nurgle. Always going to be fun to play with here. Does have that stand firm with that guard ability. And then plus one in strength. Does have more tentacles on the pitch with the block and the guard. You think you think this Nurgle team could kill you? I don't know if, I don't know if you believe just yet. But more Nurgle Warriors with the Mighty Blow Claw. With the block tackle and the guard ability. I mean, just about everyone would tackle, I feel like. And then more Nurgle Warriors, Mighty Blow Claw, and the block ability. So... This Nurgle team is absolutely ready for Ducky's Wood Elf team. You better believe that, boys. Holy crap. We're going to learn what it is to have good Blood Bowl being played because Ducky is definitely going to need to have the best Blood Bowl of his entire life if he's going to want to make it past this dangerous Nurgle team. Don't forget, guys, they do have that beautiful, disturbing presence on them for the minus one in the throws and the catchies and all that so I mean the Wood Elves really has to watch out and be ever present ever so mindful of that wherever he goes with the ball on the offensive spirit my gosh Kentucky pull it off well if anything if anyone it will be that man there and I do believe Ducky is going to be one of those that will make it to the top four and quite likely will be taking the ticket no need for a world cup qualifier small quick tournament at the end of the season where we're going to take anyone who, who has not who has made it very high in the champions cup each season and has not earned themselves a ticket they will pay play a last minute eight team playoff here and they have to complete it in a very quick succession by the end so watch out for that guys it's not over yet for anyone who has not made it with the ticket by the end of these champions cups so we will have some fun stuff we may not have the big names out there because ducky's likely to make the ticket but i mean definitely gonna be one of those things in which we're still gonna see some pretty good players from many of the champions cups in the past as we see this nurgle team Gets these first few hits off with the mighty blow with the piling on. Oh boy. Luckily though, Claw, who cares about that if you're the Wood Elf team except for maybe the tree. But other than that, see this ball pick up. And it will be clean and clear. And some good news for the front line of the line elves. Don't need to worry about the Beast of Nurgle hit. But... There's just going to be a push here in the front line, and that is it. So, hey, except for that one little blitz in the front line, Ducky's going to make a way like a champ. And speaking of which, Wood Elves, well, you know what? When a lot of the guys are going to be on their pitch, let's play a little bit aggressive. Tree's going to move in there and get the two-die blitz off. Big, slow-moving blitz. No good warrior, though. Pretty much sees it coming. Gets that push off only. And going to be able to survive yet another day. A little bit dangerous here to be standing in the middle like this. And could find the tree getting shredded up by the claw and the mighty blow coming up. If the Wood Elf team isn't too careful. But I suppose that's what the tree is there for, guys. Ooh, the blitz through. <laughs> He's going to be making it through. And I shouldn't say blitz, but the moving through. And going to take advantage of the really stupid beast of the Nurgle. Dropping the tackle zone. It's going to move on through. And just some easy, quick little dodge-ons. Just three pluses. I'll make those any day of the week if I can get some aggression from it. And there you go. Ducky's going to have one, two, three, four, five elves in the backfield against just two. Not only that, but splitting up the front line of this Nurgle team from the ball carrier. That is really what you want to do when you're trying to blitz on through like this. And... Speaking of blitzes here, Nurgle Warrior going to open things up. Or hopefully going to try to open things up, but just going to be a push here. So the left side is the only place that this Nurgle team could possibly go to. But the failed TFI 
The fail to your five minutes. You have to reroll that. You can't get nuffled at this point. Oh, no. So after that, the ball carry, he's going to move now and try to get himself in the better spot. Try to put a little screen up, but that does open things up for a Ward Dancer Blitz coming up. Don't forget he's got Tackle. Don't forget about the strip box because he's got sure hands, but that's okay. He's got the Ward Dancer. One of them's with Wrestle, one of them's with Tackle. So which one do you think? So at this point, which one does Ducky think is going to come out? Is it going to be the both down die? Is it going to be the Defender Stumbles? Which one? Which, which one's going to be here, guys? Which one? Take a pick now before the split's going to happen. Left or right? You should choose. Ducky doesn't speak on Discord. His voice is too pure. And Ducky here is going to have the commentary here on the right side, giving us a little bit of his thought process. Fireball does come out. Going to open things up. Oh, going to make this a whole lot even easier. And here comes the Blitz. What's what's going to be, guys? I'm really thinking it's going to be the guy with the wrestle. I think it's going to be the guy with the wrestle. But who knows at this point? It, it really it doesn't matter at this point. Going to be an easy little two die dodge away. No, it's going to be coming from over the top. Yes. Why not? Use the war dances for the ball carrier, but the both down dive. Luckily, he's got the wrestle. Yes, I called it right, but not from the war dancer. In fact, it's going to come from the line elf with the wrestle. And that's why you take wrestle for your line elves if you can help it, because any one of them can probably take down the ball carrier. But the two red die block wanting to get away, but unfortunately, there. And that could be so easy. I guess, after all, don't forget about the tentacles, guys. And so, wanting to do the two-die block instead, and not wanting to risk getting wrapped up by those deadly tentacles. Yes, indeed, guys. Yes, indeed. And unfortunately, you can't even leap away from it, even. Ugh, those tentacles, so dangerous. And now it does does snuff out the offense here. I mean, the uh, does snuff out the the defensive threats here, and just needs to pick the ball back up here. And the Nurgle team should be okay-ish, but we'll see. We'll see if there's going to be even more aggressions. Indeed, yes, and gonna try to take down yet more players, but unfortunately, not gonna be too big of a deal. Just gonna, just gonna be picking up that ball. Elves, the fizzle out on the aggression, but that's okay. One of the great things about playing a Wood Elf team, they're nice and quick on their feet, and so should be able to recover, get back onto the defensive side of the ball, and then start putting up screens up against the cage and then should be all right the casual dodge out of the diving tackle <laughs> yes indeed think about this catcher here did I cover him he's got the diving tackle there for that catcher <laughs> Oh, yes. But, yes, there we go. Wood Elves, though, should be able to recover. That's the nice thing. You get aggressive on the ball, and you don't ne necessarily need to pay for it too badly. And uh, trying to get the two red die blasts continuing, but... Oh, gonna get the tentacles grab, and... Oh, not gonna get away. Oh, get, get away. Come on. Oh, so nasty. Stupid tentacles. And we keep that... We keep that thrower right there, but... The dodge away you think it's gonna be easy you think okay this guy can't make it but this guy well he's still gonna be able to make the two two uh the two plus dodge away but nope no two plus dodge away and gonna be down and out for the count you can see the stars guys yes indeed sadly the nurgle team has not really killed anyone yet despite the name of this team it should just be KO KO KO. <laughs> That's what it should be, guys. But at this point, though, if I was the Nurgle team, I would take those KOs. 
and be up in the numbers and be able to march down the pitch a little bit easier. We will be facing some aggression here, but the Tentacles Nurgle Warriors so, so strong. I mean, oh wow. And really, all the two red eye bl block really needs is just a push. I mean, one of those things where he's just not getting what he needs. And that's kind of one of those deals where the Beast of Nurgles come inherent with that tentacles. And one of the first skills that I usually tell people to get is either the guard or the stand firm. But stand firm would be so complimentary to that tentacles ability. It makes it so much more worthwhile. So far, Wood Elves haven't really gotten too much. Oh, more tentacles. Oh, and oh, the foul appearance. Really want to get that hit off, and then going to be trying to dodge away afterwards and not going to be able to get away. Actually, gets away from the tentacles, but it's going to get the onesies on the dodge. Ducky cannot catch a break here in this first half, wanting to play some defense, but. Boy, those tentacles holding on strong to both those war dancers. And now, finally, going to get the big entry. So the Apothecary will definitely be used on the war dancer. And he will be back in the next bit. But this offensive series could not have gone any better for this Nurgle team. Sure, there was some aggression to be had. But that's going to be expected when you're playing against a wood up team like this. And... He's going to be able to survive for the time being. It's not over yet, though. It's, don't count it out yet, but obviously being up a couple of guys there will definitely help things out. Not just a couple, but three guys up on the pitch, so it's 11 on 8. Should be able to not only put the cage up for your ball carry, but get a nice little escort as well. <laughs> yeah, finally made it, made it out the tentacles, but couldn't get... Couldn't get the dodge away. <laughs> and even Ducky here on chat is laughing at his own misfortune. Yes, indeed. There's a nice little defender down dive with the big debilitating hit. But luckily, Trees is going to be able to hold up. Wow. After being shredded down to nothingness. What is after the bark? I don't even know. The soft wood interior? I don't even know. I don't even know, but uh, the quote-unquote soft interior of the wood, I don't... <laughs> but, but yes, here we go. Here's the blitz, and going to do it with the wrestle to Red Die, but at this point, may as well. And going to be getting the push. Push him into the arms of the War Dancer, and going to get a nice little surround. That's all the Wood Elf team really needs at this point, just to get a lot of marks on the ball carry and make... Make things a little bit more difficult. And there's the diving tackle against the Pestigore. So better watch out for that as well. It's not going to be an easy blitz away for him. Because he does have that sidestep. But instead the blitz is going to be used from the Nurgle Warrior. So this is going to be perhaps a dodge away. And this is going to be a tough one here. Even with the two heads. It's not going to be an easy one. Four plus dodge away. The two heads. Uh, oh, the diving tackle. The mist here. And uh, you're going to have to re-roll that. Can he get away? Yes, could you just be able to get away on the 4 plus? Oh boy, almost doesn't get away. Wow, I'm gonna have to use the reroll on it as well. So, pretty good stuff. The second casual diving tackle dodge out. Hey, he's like, Is that all you got? as he dusts away the diving tackler. <laughs> It's not, it's not over yet, but at this point, Nurgles, they are looking pretty good to get the score on. Not so easy. A plus one in strength blotch. Sure hands. Ball carrier. Look at that. Oh, just, just so difficult to stop here. I mean, he's going to have two plus dodges, and he's got blotch for the nice ball, and then plus one in strength. So, so difficult to get that ball away. But the War Dancer, he's going to make his attempt at it. Gonna get the two red die and not gonna last use the last reroll, but gonna be dying. I'm 
there's gonna be the other APO coming out from Ducky. Oh, I forgot to take a look at the inducements, but yes, he did have two APOs and two Bloodweiser babes for today's match, along with the wizard, but man alive, the war dancer. Well, man is not alive, I should say. After even using the apothecary, gonna get the big injuries out. Ugh. Look at that. Getting more 1 in 36th, but 1 in 36th the other way. Big APO failed there, and that is really great. Nurgle team. Only real big injuries coming out on both of the war dancers, and finally one of them will go down. And anytime you can take out a war dancer, it is always a celebration for your team. That's just. That is just a big blow. A big blow. This is looking quite bad. Yes, indeed. But when there's. But when there's Wood Elves on the pitch, there's always a way. Don't forget, guys. It may look bad there. He has lost his War Dancers. I'm sure, there's a few guys KO'd, but he does have two Bloodweiser, babe, for the two plus come in. And it's going to have the eighth round and the halftime to get them both back. So he'll have to be royally nuffled if he's not going to see any of these guys back. And not only that, don't forget about this catcher with the plus two in movement allowance with the sprint. You don't forget about that, guys. As we see the Nurgle team, eighth round coming up. Here's the blitz on the lone defender, and unfortunately, with the three die blitz with the hordes coming out, not only that, but we're gonna get the armor value break. Just gonna be stunned there, but should be an easy walk-in touchdown. up there. <laughs> Cause the Nurgle team gonna get all of his blocks in before he makes it in for the touchdown. As Mini Crabs goes up and lives up to his name, Death Death Death. Puts on the death injury on the war dancer. Just uh for this halftime period, let's just take a moment here. The loss of uh Total Biscuit, guys. He's actually going to be one of the guys that actually got me into game casting on the YouTube. So, good fellow there. And not only that, but got me into Blood Bowl. So, you guys can thank him for me being here. As well as uh, those other guys in the uh, first matches there, where he had played with uh, Krender and. Angry Joe and all that. All right, so now with that, the Wood Elves, well, you know, this is, this is not too bad. This is definitely not too bad. War Dancer, yeah, okay, sure, you're gonna be down your tackle strip ball, War Dancer. But is it really such a loss in this game yet? I would say possibly not. And it'll all be worth it if this one move touchdown threat can make it down the pitch, and it's not gonna be easy. So there's the tentacles on this right side. So you don't wanna really go through that way, but. He's going to put two guys here left of the pitch, so it's going to make this really difficult. So what are you going to do? Dodge through the tentacles or dodge through these two guys here each on this left side? So that will be quite, quite the question here. So many crabs really thinking this through. Going to get the kickoff and no 
No help here for this Wood Elf team. The ball gets kicked to the back left, unfortunately. So, gonna have to make some plays here. Gonna have to get the ball here and then throw it with the thrower. And then after that, a handoff to the main ball carrier. So, a few more dice rolls needs to be done for this one mover. Die blocks here, and what Ducky wants to accomplish here is try to get a blitz with the War Dancer. I believe that's going to be the try, and so this is kind of what you see here. So he's going to get the push combos, and that's all he really needed right there. That was the last guy, so going to get him down. So no need for a two plus dodge away. So here comes the blitz and one die, and uh, going to be oh, actually going to do the two die. Oh, but the file appearance comes up, but at least he's going to get the push. And there we go, gonna open things up and just, and there we go, gonna get all the combination, Ducky finds a way. And oh, luckily the pass, the catch, there was gonna be a one there, but luckily the catch re-roll, so that is beautiful. Here's the handoff, cannot af afford to get more dices there, but here is gonna be the GFIs. Can he make it? He does have sure feet as well. And he does fail at GFI, but the sure feet's gonna save him. And he will get the one move touchdown. One to one, Ducky. All too easy, says Juanian. All too easy. As we move into the half, one to one. When there's a wood elf, there's a way. But when there's a ducky, he finds the combination. Man, I thought I thought the blitz was gonna come on the pest score, and then maybe you were just gonna do three plus dodges around the tackle. But instead, you went for the two red die. Man, that was good. I, I definitely did not really think about the two red die blitz on the tentacles Nurgle warrior But I guess one of those things where Tentacles it's really great, but you kind of need to stand firm to also make that really really hurt, but I mean that I mean not to say that this Nurgle warrior hasn't been doing work with the tentacles He absolutely has been but unfortunately there for the one mover He was pushed easily out of the way and actually, throughout the first half, the War Dancer had been trying to do that forever on that Tentacles War Nurgle Warrior. And just when he needed it the most, he got it. So now this Nurgle team is going to be tied up 1-1. One one. And like I was saying before, guys, I mean, one of those things where in the Orc and the Human team, I was saying, look, guys, you want if you are rookie coaches out there, you want to you wanna be able to learn how to... Grind it out, play some ground and pound offense, take it down slowly, get the patient blood bowl, and then win the game. And at this point, what do you do if you're the Wood Elf team? Do you just go for the quick score, or do you just grind it out and get the easy 2-1 to one at the end of the match? I mean, that's, that's going to be the choice here. And against a very dangerous Nurgle team like this, do you want to see them back on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, that's just... That is the difficulty here. Let's um, foul appearance. So, after the foul appearance miss, gonna have to try to dodge away. And boy, more ones there than on... Anything else, the dodge of ways hasn't been good, the foul appearance, just so good for these Nurgle Warriors. And don't forget guys, in that one move touchdown, the foul appearance actually had stopped the two red die blitz, so the reroll had to have been blown right there and couldn't even use the reroll on the two red die block, or blitz I should say. So that was quite lucky for Ducky there at the end of the first half. That war dancer also did have the wrestle ability. So the both down die, the pushes, defenders down, defender stumbles. So 
Just needed to avoid the skull, really. So I guess not too bad of a deal, but... One of those things where... If you're doing a two red dot block, it's it's usually nice to have a another reroll there. If you can help it. So many foul appearances. And that's just one of those things that just messes up your game plan. Especially if you're playing a very bashy team. And then suddenly these foul appearances comes out more often than not. And oh, that is going to be a big killer there. So the reroll is going to be used right there. And at least it's going to be paid off with stun. And that's going to be nice. And it will be a mighty blow piling on. Tackle Pestigore. So that is pretty choice there. Let me get the ball pick up. Tentacles! Oh, it's doing so much work. Look at that. I love the sound effects. What is that all about? I don't even know. <laughs> what is that? What is that sound effect? Did someone just put a microphone to somebody's armpit and just like... <laughs> what is that all about? <laughs> Die block. And this is just a big blow. Is it going to cause some more damage? No. Just going to be a stun. Cannot afford to lose the other War Dancer. I'll tell you that much if you're the Wood Elf team. Still has the big one move touchdown threat. And this is not the Tentacles Nurgle Warrior, so does still have a shot here. Chance. Four strength on him, though. It's going to make this a little bit more difficult if he wants to climb on through. And it appears that the Wood Elf team being down in options may have to score it pretty quickly here after holding it a couple of turns. So Wood Elf objective pretty much completed. Really just wanted to hold the ball for as long as he possibly could and then make the score. So with this, we should see the Wood Elf team making his move pretty quickly. And he may think about getting the score here. But it looks like the left side is open, so perhaps doesn't need to make the make the quick little pitch and catch as of yet. Finally gonna get him down the tree, gonna take that beast and nurgle down. But the tentacles hold is good. So the blitz gonna come out and gonna spring this catcher free at least. We'll be able to get the push away with the defender stumbles. Should be able to readjust his guys. And after that, put his catcher. Up the pitch after the nice little dodge away. And there's going to be the outlet receiver there on the left side. There's going to be the dodge away. Just doing two plus dodges. Doesn't want to risk anything as of yet. Especially with the one move touchdown threat. So the Wood Elves just going to play it strong. Playing it solid. That's kind of what I was saying before guys just the just gonna cr try to grind it out what else just gonna use up as much time as he can until he's pretty much forced to get this touchdown and what the Nurgle team really needs to do to try to force this touchdown is just get some more injuries off on these wood elves base them up as much as possible especially with those tentacles and make it extraordinarily uncomfortable if if he can if anything moving along here and guys I do have the extra arm spot on my channel so you guys can spam it out and do dice rolls and see how easy things are for some of these chance rolls here so feel free feel free Wood 
wood elves. Just getting some positional done here. Unfortunately, failing more dodges and foul appearances. I mean, he's so many ones in this match, and this one of the biggest things that fouls up a wood elf plan is seeing a lot of ones here. There's the door. Can move up on the pitch. Seeing a opening there to take advantage of. That's a nice thing here. What else? Loads of movement allowance for just about every one of his guys. And so, can move up by himself. Doesn't even need to do the pitch and catch if he can possibly avoid it, though. And indeed, Ducky is burning through these rerolls like nothing. But what you're going to do when these ones continue to pour out quite easily just about every single turn. But we'll still have one more reroll. But Mini Crabs does have four. And. If this somehow goes into overtime period, this would just be a huge disadvantage, especially if the Nurgle team ends up with the ball going into overtime. It looks like, though, the Tentacles, Nurgle Warrior, he's in range and he will mark the ball carrier up. And so this will likely cause some type of action here from this Wood Elf team. With that blitz coming out, yes, he is going to get the defender down die. A little bit exposed here. And the ball is going to bounce around. And uh, going to be, unfortunately, on the left side. That is horrible for this Wood Elf team. He's going to have to try to get around his tentacles and maybe get to the ball. But I guess luckily still has these Wood Elves players right there. But it's going to be an awful dodge away. Three plus dodge away. And trying to pick this ball up and then do what with it exactly? Not much. Ooh, GFI is going to get there. And this is just going to be more of a tougher time for this Wood Elf team. I think at this point, if the Wood Elves can score it, he's likely going to do it at this point. Here's the Blitz coming over the top. Try to free up his man to Red Die. Just wants to push there. He's going to get it to open things up for the catch to maybe walk on through. So he's going to get the blitz off, and there you go. And he's going to get the ball pick up from the catcher. Yes, he's going to be able to pick this up. And a little bit of a GFI. No! Doesn't want to do the 3 plus throw. The 2 plus to the 2 plus. There we go. Failing the GFI, but man, he's going to get it paid off anyways. Elf BS at its finest. 2 to 1. I wouldn't really call it an FBS, more like almost getting almost getting nuffled there, BS. So Ducky was indeed forced to score it there. No real way to protect the ball at that point, so had to score it, but Ducky set out to just spend as much time as he possibly could before the Nurgles just overwhelmed them, and so did enough, well, well, well actually, did he do enough to hold the ball? Four more turns left to play for this Nurgle team. This is gonna be not a easy time for him. Nurgles are gonna have to push past and try to get the ball down the pitch as quick as he can. But he does have a moment's respite if he needs it. So, Nurgle team, this is not impossible to get this touchdown. He just needs to get there and Get that school if he can and push this into overtime and wish the Wood Elves the more the, the longer this ball game goes the less chance the Wood Elf team is going to have of winning especially if injuries are going to come out but it looks like though the Elves despite the death injury to the War Dancer has been relatively injury free Does, did have two A pedals though so I, I, should, I shouldn't say just the death injury but one of those things in which, so far in this game, it hasn't been too bad. Usually, how many of us would play the Wood Elf team and have like three guys left on the pitch at this point? But Wood Elves are going to be standing pretty strong with quite a number of guys on the pitch. I think it's actually he's going to have 11 still because the Wood Elves have one guy to come in for his team. So it's 11 on 11 ball, I believe, with the rider going out there with the foul. A nice knockdown there with the Wood Elf team get the KO 
And that is great. Or I should say the Nurgle team getting the nice KO on the Wood Elf team. And that's going to be the catcher. The one who made that little pass in the last bit. Oh, a sure hands fail. And boy, anytime you fail a pickleball against a high agility, high movement allowance team, that almost spells aggression to be coming out. Ah, thank you for that, Satterfield. Mm, nice big death injury. The generation though is going to save that one. But the tree making his presence felt. Taking down the big Nurgle warrior. Absolutely huge. Ball is on the ground. And of course, like I said before, when the ball is on the ground like that, anytime you fail the pickup roll, elves are likely... High movement allowance, high agility teams, even the Skaven team, they're going to move down and they're going to make it quite difficult for you. And there you go. Not going to waste any time. Going to move down the pitch. Going to get the ball pick up. The one move touchdown threat. He's going to be able to make it through and dodge away from danger. This could be an easy time here. The Wood Elves. The ball pick up. What an inopportune time. Elves are going to dodge away from tentacles. And this one, oh, he's going to miss. Oh, after getting the dodge away, trying to dodge away from the tentacles. Does get the dodge away from the tentacles, but not the actual dodge itself. And F and Elves, Janie is saying the Elf BS is too strong after the 3 plus dodge he's threw from the Pescador without the tackle ability. What a play here. The elves are looking like they're going to score it after the elves are absolutely surrounding up the only three guys that could quite possibly stop this touchdown. But after the two die block coming out from on this line elf to spring open somebody and should be able to get a two die blitz here on the ball carrier at least. So this is not over yet. But he does have a shot. It's going to be a two die on the on the guy with the side stepper, I kind of would have liked it on the line elf here, but I guess it came from this guy. But nonetheless, it's going to be a defender stumbles, and he does have tackle, so he's going to be able to take him down with great ease. And going to get down the other line elf away with the injury. So here comes the two die blitz coming up on the bottom. Three die blitz, actually. Defender down die. I forget about the two strength. And he He's got the plus one in strength, so he's got a six strength in total with the horns. So that's three times the strength, so that's three times the dice. And we'll be able to get the defender down die. Beautiful. And not only that, can get the injury, but the, but the sure hands pick up fail again! The sure hands! The sure hands pick up, oh, I cannot believe that. Not like he was going to do anything with the ball. Anyways, you can't throw it afterwards, but at least he would have had the ball possession, but the ball is going to be on the ground, and this is just absolutely an opening, but the fail on the left side. Wanting to make some more dodges, but again, more ones on the dice. How many ones are we going to see on this game? How many ones are we going to see in this game? But actually, Ducky may have done enough. It's still 2-1, to one, guys. Nurgle team needs to score it. And he's got only two more turns to do it. And the ball's way back there. And he hasn't even picked it, all, picked, it, picked it up yet. So many ones in this match. This is just a gripping match at this point. Such a thriller. Fender Stumbles needs to get that War Dancer down, if anything. And he does. If I was the Nurgle team, I would really think long and hard about a foul with the foul with the rotter there. But but I think we need to square this ball away first, so I don't think we're gonna see it. So no, we're not. The rotter's gonna move on to the left side to maybe get a little bit of escort here. Best score. Nice. Good. Finally pick this ball up after like three tries. Yeah, rolling ones. That's just that's just an absolutely bad strategy to have, Ducky. 
God. Out of everyone, we just don't expect ones from you. <laughs> There's the assist here on the ball carrier, so we're likely gonna see a blitz on the ball carrier. Likely a leap from the war dancer. Why not? He's in range, actually. And this time, no tenth goes all over him, so... Ooh, gonna fail the GFI, and that is gonna end all things there. And not even gonna have a chance at the ball carrier, and no more rerolls left for Ducky, so... Forget about that, bitch. And now, turn 16, Nurgle team has to rely on a Rotter with three agility here for the last bit, so here we go. Nurgle's not really renowned for the th little throws and the little catches, but is gonna need something to come on through. The wrestle is gonna come out. Unfortunately, couldn't get the other line elf on him, but the two hand stutch, which actually gets the reroll there, and he will be able to get away. Here comes the throw. It's a three plus to the three plus. And it's gonna get everything there at G. G. No, it's gonna be an overtime period where the Rotter is gonna score it. The little Rotter that could. <sighs> Meanwhile, Ducky's like, ugh, four. These four plus dodges, easy mode, two plus. It's just impossible. Impossible. Well, they were just, they were just easy dodges as well. Two heads dodge away, but now it's gonna be up to the coin toss. Will it be the Nurgle team or will it be the Wood Elves? And it appears that yes, it's gonna be the Wood Elves. They're gonna be getting the reception, and more often than not, whoever receives the ball in overtime does usually win it. But not in this Champions Cup. We have seen two overtime periods in which the person who have received the ball did not win the game. So is this yet another case of that? Or will it be the Wood Elves? Will it be their time? My gosh. But as we take a look here real quick at the dice log, two plus dodges here. And the three plus dodge right there. The GFI. Oh, that was the other that's the other one here. No, this is it right here. Can dodge away with a two plus dodge and then get the three plus pass with the three plus catch. All oh, too easy. How do you uh, get the extra arm spot to do the uh, to do the percentage of the dice roll? I forgot what the uh, I forgot what the the command is for that. As we see the Woodhoff team position themselves in this crucial overtime period. Don't forget guys, he does not have a reroll to his name, but the blitz on defense that will sour some chances here. And luckily though, the thrower, he's back there for the reception. The ball is kicked way short. Look at that. It's right over the head of this catcher right here. So the ball could actually get muffed here and go on the Nurgle team's side. So this is really a terrible spot here. But actually, no, on the kickoff, it goes on the other side. Then the elves will be able to just give it to someone. But man, this is just a, just a tough moment here. This could fall short and... Heck, even worse if the if the catcher actually catches it, <laughs> he's gonna have to just dodge away. So at this point, I think the I think the Nurgle team strategy is try to get the tentacles in there so that he can maybe get that going. But the tentacles are on the right side there, so the ball is gonna get actually will get caught in the disturbing presence and all. So it's gonna get the six on the catch. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic is like, how the hell? Are you sure you're going to win, man? <laughs> Ducky's like, no, I'm not sure. After watching this business. <laughs> Thank you so much for that follow, Klusek. As we see the turnover gonna be done by the Wood Elves after failing the GFI. 
This could not go any worse. What is going on here? How how can the one off team pull this off at this point? The tree is rooted now, so he can't even be in the equation any longer once the Nurgle team gets away from the tree. And he should be able to get maybe a 2 die block on this catcher. Not even a maybe, it should be a 2 die block. If, if anything, it should be a blitz. Yes, it's going to be a blitz. And we'll get the defender down die. Look at that. And not only that, it's going to be able to get the ball out. And it's going to be in a great spot here for this Nurgle team. How can the Wood Elf team win? How? Ducky is in big trouble now. This is just a absolute nightmare. If I was playing the Nurgle team, I would feel quite confident of my chances at this point. The ball pickup, no sure hands failure there. Turn 18. Wood Elves are going to have to find a way to win. There's just... There's just... There's just, I just don't even think this is going to be possible any longer. But the tree, he's going to at least have his grab skill. So if he doesn't get the down dice, then at least he'll be able to continue to keep him in range for more bashes on the front line. But who cares? The Nurgle team is like, that's the rotter. There's the blitz. There's the two red die. And there's going to be the both down die. Luckily, it's going to be the rest of Ward Dancer that's still alive on the pitch. The ball is going to be bossed around. The ball is going to be in a great spot now. And he should be able to pick it up against two. And he does. Four plus pick up. With the two plus dodge away. Oh, yes, indeed. Ducky. He's going to be able to get away. The LPS. The dodge away. The three plus dodges away from the tackle. From the tentacles. All the madness. This is just going all oh, wood elves there definitely need a miracle he's gonna get one but can it be can it be enough the nurgles the nurgles should be able to recover though he should be able to get a defensive try at least get a defensive stance because he's just gonna be all on his own but if just a chance he needs then just a chance that he'll get at least at least the wood elves won't have a chance of scoring it at the moment. The plus two movement allows. He's going to be down on the pitch with that big injury. So forget about that man there. So the war dancer going out. The plus two movement allows. All the weapons going out. He's going to have to find another weapon here. Will it be? Will it be the wood elves? Nurgles cannot allow this moment to slip away. The one die. He's got the rerolls though. One more left though. Let's get to get push. Gonna be able to get the push. I really wanted to take him down so that he can have an easier time with the blitz over the bottom side. But unfortunately, he's gonna have to instead use the blitz here on the wrestle line elf over the bottom. And so won't be able to get an easy blitz. But he should be able to catch up to this ball carrier, I guess. But after the nice little hit, definitely need him down. Most of the wood elves are down, so they're going to be reduced trying to get to the ball. There's the rider. He's going to jump away. He's going to be like, no, you have to get through me first. You're going to have to get through me first. But he does for the three plus. On oh, the two plus. But will it be enough? It's not over yet. With the splits, don't forget guys, it's going to be a 3 plus, 3 die, uh, three die blitz with the Pestigore with the plus 1 in strength. So don't forget about that. Sure, he doesn't have the tackle ability, but he's got 3 dice and he still has one more reroll left in the bank. And this is all that he needs. going to be placing his guys, make the moves, get the strong moves in first. And here comes the blitz. It's gonna be a three dice. Uh. It's gonna be a three dice splits coming in. As we see here, he's gonna make the make the make the non consequential blows, but is he taking away all of his good dice? I don't know. But that was a defender stumbles, and so not necessarily what he needed there. But he does get the follow of the mighty blow piling on. And unfortunately, again, not really coming through for him. So the Nurgles gonna get the splits off. Should be a three die. And it is. And it's not gonna be good enough. There's the reroll, but more both down dice. And he's gonna stay on his feet. Oh no, but 
This is not going to be an easy try here. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus. Somebody give me the odds on that. On extra arms. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus, guys. Ducky, when there's a will, there's a way. But then Beast and Energo going to dodge away. And he wants to get to the ball carry. But he's going to fail at the last TFI. That would have put the nail in the coffin for him. Whoa! Avoids disaster at the beast. Squiggling in with a 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus, yes! Ducky pulls it out. Just and just pulls it out against one of the most dangerous teams in this tournament. But the reward here is that Ducky, after making it through here, my gosh, he's going to have to play against another tough team. But let's just take a quick look here at the dice rolls for the interns of Atalord. Look at that. So many ones, but also getting a lot of sixes. My gosh, this was just an absolute shit show, really. I mean, look, I mean, just... So many dodge failures there. 11 dodge failures. So many fails on these tentacles. 8 failures on them. Uh, uh, it's just it's just so much fails there. And still, and still, barely pulls it out. In the end, it was just the GFI for the Beast of the Nurgle. Just... Wow, gets the dodge away, and the piece of the nerd goes sneaking in ever so slowly, trying to get to the ball carrier, and oh boy, in the end, it's gonna get nuffled there. My gosh! Look at this, just, just, just so many times in which things could have went so bad, and it almost... It almost damn did. Damn, just just so many times. But Ducky will make it through, but oh, Ducky will make it through, but will face against the Necro team. Man. <laughs> Whew. Seven votes to five there. Look at that. Five people didn't believe in you, Ducky, but I but I believed in you, buddy. We'll be facing off against Aldrea. A very tough team and likely is going to be facing it off against a, at least a dwarf team. Chaos Tour for dwarf here or is it going to be the Necromancer team? I don't know. But it's just going to be all kinds of bruising teams to be facing off. One more win away though from the quarterfinals to get a nice easy ticket into the World Cup Finals. Don't you guys go away though. We're going to have at least one more game if not two more games for today's matches we're going to see. Monkey Man taking on Spotico. And uh, hopefully we'll see that in just a second though. I'm going to take a real quick little drink break and maybe even go to the bathroom. But don't you guys go away. Definitely if you haven't already, hit that follow button. Hit the subscribe button as well if you're watching after the fact on YouTube. And like it as well. Oh man, that was such a good game. This is what I expect. I'll tell you what guys. <laughs> Alright, be back in 30 seconds.